my channel. I'm Shloza and today I'm actually back out in the country. Say hi guys. Hello. Anyway, I thought what better opportunity to talk about AI than out here with as little of it. Now, I say little because AI is everywhere. At least everywhere where there's technology. And in a country of opportunities like Australia, digital technology is a necessity wherever you go. So yes. So that means yes, even out here in the country, where there's forests and farms and flocks of sheep. Artificial intelligence and machine learning technology is still with us everywhere. I mean, how else do you expect me to film this video? You're rolling. But there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to AI. Over the decades, film and media have heavily influenced our perceptions of it. And the fact that it's a continuously evolving field, which is already so broad and complex, doesn't help to clear people's presumptions and misunderstandings of it. Um, I think a lot of people find that a bit scary. Um, and a lot of people think that it's going to um, be a lot bigger in a few years. And that scares a lot of people. In a 2023 Ipsos survey report, which examined responses to AI across 31 countries, showed Australia was the top country worldwide to be worried about AI, with 69% of respondents saying they felt nervous about the technology. Globally, half of respondents said they know what products and services use AI. Australians fell well below that 38%. Additionally, 59% of Australians said they had good understanding of AI, which was also below the global average of 67%. So AI is everywhere and oftentimes without most of us even realizing it. Every day we unknowingly encounter AI, whether that be through email filtering, maps and GPS, social media recommendations, and even facial recognition to unlock our phones. But now we're seeing, or more like realizing, that AI and automation is becoming more and more widespread throughout society. You can already see this happening down at local supermarkets, where they're replacing cashier conveyor belts with automated self-serving checkouts, which is a lot quicker for us and more profitable for businesses. Jean-Philippe Derenty and Thomas Corbin found that AI has benefited from investments by companies that hope to find in it a new avenue for cutting costs, notably labor and transaction costs. I remember in my previous video that I left you guys with a couple of things to think about at the end. That AI is already here, bringing change to every job and industry, and that we need to adapt to those changes. Continuing on this line of thought, one thing we need to realize is that jobs have always been changing. New industries emerge while others fade away, and job roles transform in response to the demands of the times. And in recent times, due to this boom, this influx of automation and AI, we're seeing our jobs go under a massive evolutionary transformation. However, this isn't the first time we've seen this happen before. In 1765, we had the first industrial revolution. This was powered by steam and mechanization and shifted most from agrarian to factory jobs. Manual labor shifted to machines and women in particular began to enter the workforce en masse. 110 years later, in 1870, came the second industrial revolution or industry 2.0. This introduced the use of electricity, which became widespread and transformed production into assembly lines. Gas lamp lighters were replaced by electric lights and telephone communication began, creating a new profession of switchboard operators. Leaping forward 100 years to 1969, we welcomed Industry 3.0, the digital revolution. This gave us computers, increased automation and IT professionals. Since then, we have seen telephone operators be replaced by automated switchboards. It's fair to say that throughout history, the nature of work has continuously evolved. And now we're here in Industry 4.0, the technological revolution. Fueled by artificial intelligence, advanced automation, robotics and the Internet of Things, it is redefining job roles once again. But with so many jobs being affected by AI, Nearly half of Australian workers are worried that AI will replace them. In a 2015 BTN program, 60% of students were being trained in jobs that would be changed by automation, and 70% of young people were doing jobs that would change or completely disappear. However, now, in 2023, a quarter of the world's jobs are changing in the next five years. We'll lose 83 million jobs in that time, and 29 million jobs will be created by 2027. 
This is furthered by the World Economic Forum, who states that generative AI has received particular attention recently, with claims that 19% of the workforce could have over 50% of their tasks automated by AI. As technology clearly continues to reshape industries and the global economy, adaptability and continuous learning have become essential skills in navigating this rapidly changing job landscape. Changes in technology are the resulting changes in the workforce. The truth is that AI represents an extension of technological changes that have been accelerating since the first industrial revolution. Originator of Industry 4.0, Henrik von Scheele says, the more resistant we are to change, the harder it will be for us to adapt. The people that don't survive are the people resistant to change. So, change is inevitable. Resisting change will not prevent it happening and we are far best to be adopting and adapting technology to our favour. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to join me up in the country again. I'll make sure to get some kangaroos next time. Anyway, this is Schlazer and I'll see you in a Bye!